Elijah Cook from Clayton, North Carolina, also starting tonight. South Marana, Greensboro, North Carolina, wearing number three, Taylor Fulford, starting for the Lady Broncos. Former CIAA Rookie of the Year, Brianna Jones. Wearing number four will also be starting for FSU. And the final starter, wearing number 33, a sophomore transfer from Presbyterian from Durham, North Carolina, Yakima Clifton. Head coach for the Lady Broncos, Serena King Coleman, assistant coach Tyrese Brown, and Alonzo Lunsford. All right, let's get ready. Let's get started and see what the Lady Broncos have for the 2016-17 season. This is their first contest in Capel Arena this season. Starting for Fayetteville State tonight, we got number one, two. Want to send a special shout out to the sports information crew helping us bring this broadcast to you live tonight. And we got the tip, Lady Broncos will get the basketball first. Number three, Kyla Pfeiffer will be handling the basketball. Balls out by the perimeter, she passes it over to Brianna Jones. Jones swings it to Clark. Clark in the left wing, comes back to the top of the key. Finds the hands of Pfeiffer again. Pfeiffer dribbling around trying to find a spot. Less than 10 seconds on the shot clock. Pfeiffer dribbles inside and it is rejected by number 25 of Pembroke. LaShonda Pritchard. There was a lane violation by the Braves. Turnover, ball returns to Fayetteville State, 9.27 on the clock here in the first quarter. And it'll be Brianna Jones bringing the ball up for Fayetteville State. As mentioned, Jones is a junior. She started her CIAA or collegiate career at Elizabeth City State, took a season off, and now she's here at Fayetteville State trying to finish out her two years of eligibility. Three-pointer from the corner by Clark. Off the mark, rebound by Pritchard. And the Lady Braves kick it out to number 15. Avery Locklear, who takes the long range shot, off the mark. And this will be Kayla Pfeiffer coming back the other way. Swings it over to Jones. Jones out by the perimeter. And it's back to Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer to Jones. Keeping it in the hands of the backcourt. And Jones pulls up for three. No good. Rebound by the Braves, and they're going the other way. This is Pritchard with the ball in her hand. Off the mark, rebound by Taja Clark. Clark pushing the ball up court, already on the other end. Swings it out to Brianna Jones. 8.22 on the clock, about 18 seconds on the shot clock for Fayetteville State. Yakima Clifton pulls up for the jumper inside the free throw line, off the mark, rebound by number 23, Arco Williams. Inside. Lawson is fouled inside the paint. And that foul is going to be called on number three, Kayla Pfeiffer, her first, team first. Felicia, Felicia Lawson, number 30 floor, a senior from Reedsville, North Carolina, at the line to shoot two for Pembroke. Eight minutes exactly on the clock. Felicia is going for the bonus. She scored on the foul. Let's see if she can complete the three-point play. And she does. 
Pembroke off to an early 3-0 lead two minutes into the ball game. Checking into the lineup for Fayetteville State is number 14, Chantel Bennett. Bennett bringing the ball up as well as number 21, Chi Chi Men in the Wayne Bomb. Bennett wastes no time coming into the game. Shot is missed. Rebound by Clifton. Clifton is fouled on the putback. And they're going to say no shot. Oh, no, they are going to count the shot. So Clifton, opportunity for the three-point play. He completes it is 3-3. Three, three. And here come the Braves on the other end. Pembroke feeds it inside to number 24, Monley. And that is Jonessa Monley, number 24. Foul on number 33, Yakima Clifton of Fayetteville State, her first, team second. Monley off the mark with the first free throw. We're going to stay tied up at three apiece, 7.33 left in the first quarter. Here of the women's basketball season home opener here at Fayetteville State. Monley makes the second, 4-3 in favor of UNCP here in Capel Arena early in the first quarter. Lady Broncos ball, feed it inside to men in the way bomb. Clark thinks about the three, decides otherwise. Pfeiffer takes him off the dribble, kicks it out to Chantel Bennett. Bennett pulls up. One, three, count it. One, two, three. Rebound for Chantel Bennett. Gives Fayetteville State a 6-4 lead. Three minutes into the ball game and traveling. Too many steps by Pritchard. That will be a turnover. Lady Broncos basketball. And it'll be Chantel Bennett bringing the ball up for FSU. Bennett, a true freshman out of Sanford, North Carolina. She is a graduate of Lee County High School and making her debut here in Capel Arena as a Lady Bronco. They feed it inside to Yakima Clifton. She couldn't find any space. Ball swung back out to Clark. Clark pulls up, and the jumper falls just inside the three-point line, and now Fayetteville State extends their lead to 8-4 with 6.23 and counting here in the first quarter. Over by UNC Pembroke. Here comes Tasha Clark. She kicks out the outlet pass to Clifton. Clifton gives it back to Clark. Clark swings it over to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer gets it in the hands of Bennett. 20 seconds on the shot clock, six minutes on the game clock, and we got a foul called on number 14 of Pembroke. Or perhaps that was number 13, Jasmine. Hit Huntley, excuse me, call for that foul. Three-point basket taken by Bennett off the mark. It's actually an air ball, and here comes number 13, Huntley, on the other way. On the fast break, doesn't get it to go. Rebound, Fayetteville State. Kayla Pfeiffer clears it out. Here she comes across midcourt, gets into the hands of Chantel Bennett, who goes straight to the cup, draws contact, and we have a foul. Jasmine Huntley called for her first, team third. Chantel Bennett to the line shooting two. First one off the mark. Coming into the lineup for UNC Pembroke, Erica 
Arico Williams. She's from Fayetteville, North Carolina, graduate of Westover. This is her senior year at UNC Pembroke. Bennett's second free throw off the mark as well. And I believe we have a lane violation, which will give Chantel Bennett another opportunity at the charity strike. Third time's the charm. Let's see if Bennett can get this free throw to fall. Kill it! Lady Broncos now have a 9-4 lead. 5.33 on the clock here in the first quarter. And almost a turnover. They're putting on the half-court pressure on the Braves. And there will be a backcourt violation. Good defense by Fayetteville State. The point total of UNC Pembroke. So far, it's been good strategy by the Lady Broncos. They have simply just a play up the defense. Uh, remained steady, had good ball movement, and it's led to easy baskets so far. Good guard play by Taja Clark, Kyla Pfeiffer, and Chantel Bennett thus far early in the first quarter. Let's see if Fayetteville State can stretch this lead out a little bit further. If you're just tuning in, the men's game ended with a victory for the Broncos. They were victorious 103-52. to Quite impressive win. That makes it two in a row for the men's team. They're now 2-2 two and two heading into this weekend's game against Classen University. And the Lady Broncos are trying to get their first victory of the season. This is their third game. They had a Tough opening stretch on the road in Charlotte as a part of the CIAA PSEC Challenge. Their opening game of the season, they played Seton Hill, followed by a matchup with Slippery Rock, two tough teams in this region. Ben Brooks was able to score in that last possession. Ball fed inside to Yakima Clifton. She's off the mark, gets her own rebound. Lady Broncos swing it back out, fresh shot clock. We're under the five minutes, so at the next dead ball, we're going to have a media timeout. Feed it inside to Minute away bone, and they strip it out of her hands. Kyle Pfeiffer makes a hustle play. Steals the ball, saves it from going out of bounds, and then passes it over to Clifton. Clifton gives it back to Pfeiffer, and now it's in the hands of number 14, Chantel Bennett. Bennett gets it to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer decides to take a long way through. Pfeiffer. And now Fayetteville State has doubled the point total for Pembroke again. They lead 12-6. Four minutes on the game clock. UNC Pembroke has the ball out by the perimeter. Triple drive to the basket by number 15, Avery Locklear. Unsuccessful with the shot attempt. However, Pembroke will remain retain possession for Fayetteville State. Number 10, Miranda Hinton checks into the ball game. Hinton, a true freshman out of Clayton, North Carolina, graduate of Cleveland High School. For uh, all those who may be listening in Clayton or near Clayton, your hometown girl is in the game here at Fayetteville State. 3.51 on the clock. Pembroke has the ball out by the perimeter. Locklear kicks it inside to number 32, Stephanie Johnson. Johnson kicks it back out to number 23, Williams, and Williams takes the shot. It's off the mark. Rebound, Fayetteville State. We're going the other way. Taj Clark. Taj Clark gets all the way inside the paint, draws the foul on Stephanie Johnson. That will be Johnson's first foul for team for UNC Pembroke. 
number two, Taja Clark at the foul line. First attempt, rattles in. Kirk. Second top shot attempt coming up. Second free throw, successful as well. 14-6, and that's 20 steps by number three, Jillian Ebram. Number four, Brianna Jones is gonna inbound the ball for Fayetteville State. Taja Clark has the ball out by the perimeter, swings it to Jones. Jones kicks it over to Chantel Bennett. Bennett to Hinton. That's not Hinton. That is number 11, Taish. Tiashana Morris, a junior from Virginia Beach, transfer from Monroe College. Excuse me. Miranda Hinton has not checked into the game yet. That has been number 11 to Shana Morris the whole time. And Carey is the call. Number 13, Jasmine Huntley turns the ball over for Pembroke. We got three minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Fayetteville State with a 14-6 lead. Inbounds the ball to Chantel Bennett. Bennett gets the ball over half court, passes it to Jones. Jones to Morris, Morris to Clark. Clark thinks about the three, decides otherwise, gets it to Morris. Morris pulls up for three, no good. Rebound by Stephanie Johnson of Pinbrook. And we got a foul on number Jillian Ebram. Freshman from Greenville, North Carolina. And that's going to be the first foul called on Ebram. Fifth team foul for Pembroke here in the first quarter. Chantel Bennett on the baseline. Brianna Jones dribbles around and gets the jump drop to go. Broncos have a 10 point lead, 16 to 6. Approaching the two minute mark here in the first quarter. Done a great job of keeping Pembroke out of the paint. Stephanie Johnson battles on the inside. And they're going to call her for traveling. And she don't like that. 222 remaining here in the first quarter. Brianna Jones going to bring the ball up the court for the Lady Broncos. Plenty of time. They've Done a great job executing this half court offensive set, finding good spots, getting good time to go off the game clock before they take a shot. Just about everybody touching the ball on the possession. And this time they're going to be called for traveling. Number four, Brianna Jones. 204, 204 remaining here in the first quarter. Number 13, Jasmine Huntley with the ball in her hands. Ball's out on the perimeter for UNCP. Almost a steal, Clifton. Gamble almost paid off. Stephanie Johnson tried to fight her way in the paint. And we got a foul called. Score the basket by Jillian Ebram. Foul called on number four, Brianna Jones. Her first, team fourth. And Jones will take a seat. As will man in the way, but number five, Kara Strait. And number three, Kyla Pfeiffer checking to the game. Three point play is no good. Rebound by Stephanie Johnson of UNC Pembroke. Good defense by Clifton. Causes the turnover. I like Apple. Let me get an apple turnover. No, let me get peach. I like peach. I guess it doesn't matter what type of turnover I like as a dessert. 
We're talking about turnovers here in this basketball game. 16-8 with a minute 37 remaining in the first quarter. Fayetteville State has been in control thus far. Let's see if they can continue to dictate the pace. Akima Clifton gets it to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer out by the perimeter. Dribbling, 15 seconds on the shot clock. And that's Morris takes the long range shot. Rebound by Straight. Nope. It'll be Stephanie Johnson that gets the possession for UNC Pembroke. Driving on the other end, that was number 25, LaShonda Pritchard. She doesn't get the reverse layup to go. Morris almost. Too many steps. Kick it back out to Morris, and this time they call the traveling on number five, Kara Strait. Less than a minute, 59 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Broncos lead 16-8. They have minimized the offensive possessions for the Braves here in this first quarter, and it's been to their benefit. We're at the 52nd mark here on the clock in the first quarter. Pembroke, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Shots taken by number three, Jillian Ebram, and he goes just inside the free throw line. 16-10 now in favor of your Fayetteville State Lady Broncos. Pfeiffer swings it to Morris. Morris over to Bennett, and they get it inside to Clifton. Clifton thought about it, took a dribble, decided to pull up. Ebram, rebound for UNC Pembroke. Ball movement, now it's Jasmine Huntley, kicks it out for three. Williams, count it. And that will make it a little bit more interesting going into the second quarter. 16-3, 16-3. Just a one possession game. Colin Pfeiffer decides to take a cannon three-pointer just before times expire. Time expires here in the first quarter. Fayetteville State with a one possession lead, 16-13. And let's see if we can get you some stats. Hi, I'm Anthony Bennett, Director of Athletics at Fayetteville State University. Over the years, FSU Athletics has become synonymous with championships and pride. FSU's vision for athletics is to build upon our rich history by providing our student athletes with a comprehensive athletic experience, which includes a quality education and the tools to be competitive in their respective sport. Our vision has led us to the establishment of the 1,000 Broncos campaign. The 1,000 Broncos is an annual fundraising campaign dedicated to providing scholarship opportunities for deserving student athletes. We look forward to collectively supporting the next generation of Broncos. We need your unconditional support as we pursue becoming one of the premier athletic programs in the country. I proudly serve our student athletes daily. I encourage you to impact a Bronco student athlete by becoming a 1,000 Broncos member. You can find out more about our 1,000 Broncos program by visiting www.fsubroncos.com or calling 910-672-1314. With you, the future looks bright for old, white, and blue.
second quarter on the way, and Pembroke scores first. Seeing if they can take a lead. This is Jasmine Huntley, dribbles inside, pulls up. Shot no good. Out of bounds, possession will go to the Lady Broncos. Tyja Clark and Chantel Bennett both have four points in the first quarter to help the Lady Broncos get their initial lead. Kyla Pfeiffer pulls up from the left wing. No good. Rebound Jasmine Huntley. USC Pembroke going the other way. Rebound. Stephanie Johnson kicks it out to Huntley. Huntley swings it over to Jillian Ebram. Foul. Foul is called on number 21, Chi Chi, man in the way bomb. Her second. Turnover by the Braves. Chantel Bennett with the ball in her hands. Pass it over to Clark. Clark to Clifton. Clifton to Clark again. Clark pulls up. No good. Rebound by Williams. Excuse me, that was Pritchard with the rebound. They feed it inside to number 32, Stephanie Johnson. Johnson gets the score, and Pembroke takes a lead, 17-16, in favor of the Lady Braves. Pull up by Pfeiffer, no good. Rebound by Johnson. Johnson gets it to the hands of Pritchard. Pritchard's in the front court, no good. I think Yakima Clifton got a piece of that. Rebound by Taja Clark. Clark swings it over to Bennett. Clifton thinks about it, and good decision. Pulls up from the elbow, gets the jumper to go. 18-17. Fayetteville State recaptures the lead. 7-21 here in the second quarter. Up, oh, still. Tyja Clark read it all the way. She's going the other way. So let's see if she can get the fast break. And it is LaShonda Pritchard decides to slow her down, commits the foul. That's the first foul called on Pritchard. First team foul here in the second quarter for UNC Pembroke. Balls inbounded to Clifton. Clifton swings it over to Bennett. Bennett to Jones. Approaching the seven minute mark here in the second quarter. Taja Clark goes all the way in the lane. Rebound by Stephanie Johnson. Johnson gets it into the hands of Jillian Ebram and she's going the other way. Jasmine Huntley now has the ball. This is Johnson, decides otherwise, passes it over to Avery Locklear, and Locklear gets the free throw jumper to fall. Timeout taken by Fayetteville State head women's basketball coach Serena King Coleman. Pembroke leads 19-18 with 640 remaining in the first half. Cheer five smooth on the court right now, along with the Bucking Broncos pep squad. They always keep things entertaining here in Capel Arena. They have sparked things off for the fall season, being lively for football games and volleyball games, and it's just carried over into the winter for basketball season. They've added a totally different energy this season, and I believe it's helped out with our programs. As of right now, our women's volleyball team finished the season a perfect 8-0 at home. They didn't lose a single game here in Capel Arena. Men's basketball team came back, 
And they have defended home court. They're perfect 2-0 at home. Let's see if the women's basketball team can get some of that same energy and carry over for their game. We have yet to lose in Cable Arena in any sport this season. And the timeout's over. Back to the action here in the second. Number 33, Akima Clifton at the line, shooting two free throws. First one goes and ties up the game at 19 apiece. 16-29 on, on the clock, excuse me, checking into the ball game for UNC Pembroke is number one, Ebony Stevens, a junior guard out of Kernersville, North Carolina. Seeing her first action of this evening. Clifton gets her second foul shot to fall. And the Lady Broncos back up in front, 20-19. As we approach the six minute mark, Avery Locklear steps inside. Jumper is no good, rebounded by Bennett. Bennett pushing the ball the other way. No one's stopping the ball. She's showing some good ball handling Billy. Here comes Brianna Jones. Ball's out by the perimeter, about 15 seconds on the shot clock. Clifton pulls up, jumper's no good, rebound. Out of bounds. And possession will go with UNCP. One point lead, 5.59 on the clock. And they've got three seconds to get it across half court and they make it with just a second to spare. Jasmine Huntley gives it to Stephanie Johnson. And they're allowing the play to set up. Feed it inside to Johnson. Johnson does work in the low block. Rebound by Man in the Way Bone. Here comes Brianna Jones pushing the ball the other way. Crossover action. Keeps the defender in front of her, however. And we're close to the five minute mark here in the second quarter. Tasha Clark pulls up. Count them. Assist from Clifton. And now Fayetteville State leads. UNC Pembroke, 22 to 19. We're at the five minute mark here in the second quarter. It's been quite a competitive contest. Pembroke has scratched and clawed their way back into the game. Fayetteville State has led by as much as 10. And that is Avery Locklear pulling up for three, no good. Rebound Clark, here come the Lady Broncos in transition. Chantel Bennett takes Stevenson off the dribble, reverse layup, no good. Rebound by Manning the Way Bum, and she gets the putback to fall. Fayetteville State increases their lead to 5, 24 19, with 4, 23 and counting here in the second quarter. Here comes Ebony Stevens, passes it over to Locklear. She's out by the perimeter. I believe that's her shot. They feed it inside to Stephanie Johnson. Johnson's called. For traveling. And checking into the lineup for FSU will be number 24, Asia Potts. Her first action of the evening. Potts swings it over to Clifton. And we got a whistle. And we got a scrum. Pembroke comes out with it, passes it ahead to number 55, Love. Love misses the layup. They kick it inside the minute away bomb. She gives an elbow. 
Before she made the move, she took a step, and they're going to call her for traveling. Twenty-four nineteen in favor of Fayetteville State. Avery Locklear pulls up from long range, and that will go. UNCP within one possession. They trail 24-22, close to the three-minute mark before halftime. Locklear has been very courageous in taking those shots. Obviously, she's got the green light from her coach. And she's successful with that last basket, which brings UNCP to within just one field goal. Want to take this time to thank all our proud sponsors, Coca-Cola, the Fayetteville State Foundation, the Holiday Inn on I-95, the National Guard, and Papa John's Pizza for all they do for Fayetteville State Athletics. We truly appreciate it. And there's a foul on the floor. Foul called on number 33, Yakima Clifton, her second, team third here in the second quarter. At the foul line, shooting will be number 24, Mondley. Monley gets both of them to fall, and she ties up the game at 24 apiece. The senior, Emerald Smith, tries to pull the up and over, up and under layup, no good. Ball headed the other way, Jasmine Huntley swings it out, Locklear again, no good. Rebound by Jones, here come the Lady Broncos, pushing the ball up court. She dribbles into traffic, ball stolen away by Huntley. Huntley stepped on the out of bounds line. Possession will remain with Fayetteville State. Coming back into the lineup, Tia Shana Morris. And Asia Potts will check out. Tia Shana Morris trying to fight for space out on the perimeter. Yakima Clifton wastes no time driving inside the basket. Gets a one-hand shot to fall inside the paint. Gives Fayetteville State another lead here in the second quarter. They are up 26-24. Jasmine Huntley made the attempt to drive inside. Lost control of the handle. Turnover, Braves. 2-10, 2-10 remaining here in the first half. And number 14, Chantel Bennett will check into the lineup. She'll sub in for Jones. Bennett will bring the ball up the court. Gets it into the hands of Morris. Morris swings it over to Clark. Clark back to Bennett. Bennett outside on the perimeter. And the long range two goes by number one, Emerald Smith. And that increases the Fayetteville State lead 28-24. Inside the paint shot by Ebony Stevens, no good. Rebound by Emerald Smith. Taja Clark on the left side, she decides to pull up. Shot is short, but there's a foul on the play by number 13, Jasmine Huntley. That'll send Clark to the line to shoot two. Huntley commits her second personal fourth team foul here in the second quarter. Clark's first free throw attempt is successful. Second shot. Count it. And she makes good at the charity strike. Pushes the Fayetteville State lead up to 30-24. 30-24 in favor of Fayetteville State with a minute 23 left to play. Locklear pulls up at the free throw line. No good. Rebound by Clifton. Chantel Bennett with the ball. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Let's see what they do with this possession. 
They can wind down some clock here and then get a good shot at the end. Or as the shot clock is drawing near, that'll be a lot of air let out for UNC Pembroke. Tia Shana Morris passes it over to Emerald Smith. That's no good. Rebound by Chantel Bennett. That's no good as well. This time rebound by the Braves. And pushing the ball up the floor is UNC Pembroke. And there's a skirmish inside between Taja Clark. And Sedazia Love. Possession will go to Fayetteville State. 43 seconds, 43 seconds remaining here in the first half. Lady Broncos up 30 to 24. Chantel Bennett brings the ball across midcourt. Clark has it on the left wing, out by the perimeter. Morris swings it over to Bennett. And we got a foul on the floor, offensive foul. And the foul's gonna be called on the senior, number one, Emerald Smith. And shot clock is off. 22 seconds and counting here in the first half. Possession with UNCP. And let's see if they're gonna take one final shot. Kick it inside. Nice shot taken by Monley. Janicia Monley gets the last basket of the first half. And at the end of two quarters, Fayetteville State ahead, 30, 26. Give us a couple of minutes. We're gonna take a halftime break, get things in order, get us some stats, and we'll be back with action here in the second half. You're tuned in to Fayetteville State Athletics Sports Network. Students are proud to be at Fayetteville State University with a school of business that's ranked one of the best in the nation. FSU is proud to be the only school in our state to achieve top accreditation for its criminal justice program. And we are proud of our nursing majors with a 100% pass rate. All of our undergrad and graduate programs are offered in state-of-the-art facilities. Plus, students can study abroad and research in FSU's Center for Defense and Homeland Security. Visit our website and become a student who's proud to be at Fayetteville State University. Good sportsmanship starts with respect. For yourself, your team, the opponent, and the decision of the officials. At Fayetteville State University, conduct does count. The athletes competing in this contest have trained many hours. They have earned your respect and applause. Your, your positive, positive behavior will earn their respect for you. Fayetteville State Athletics wants to remind you that you're a Bronco country. A good sportsmanship zone. No negative chants, yells, comments, or acts directed to coaches, athletes, officials, or fans will be tolerated. The dictionary defines sportsmanship as playing fair, being a good winner, and loser. We are Bronco Nation. Ethics, integrity, and respect are values important in all our daily lives. In athletics, those values are translated into the word sportsmanship. Sportsmanship is one of the strongest educational lessons and lifetime values taught through intercollegiate athletics. Responsible role models are those who practice good sportsmanship every day. You can be a player, coach, administrator, spectator, or a parent and be a role model for all. We often forget the importance of being gracious in victory. The CIAA Conference reminds us that good sportsmanship gives us 
it's a standard to follow at all times. We are Bronco and Thank you for your cooperation. Attitude Turk Coach Ken Spence, I'm the head men's basketball coach at Fayetteville State University. Um, brought the basketball team out for com community service here at True Vine Ministries uh, to help, you know, promote Fayetteville State University, our basketball program, our athletic department, in, in serving the community to come out to, uh, to uh, help True Vine Ministries in feeding the homeless. It's not just about basketball, it's bigger than basketball, that we're able to come back and give back to the community to give back to people that has less than you have, and also to give back without looking for something in return. First of all, in order to be great, one has to serve first. And uh, we're trying to make sure we instill that in, in our players, that if they see some people that are less fortunate from, than, than they are, and that they see a need, that they can go out and service that need. And, and not only for basketball, but for life in general, uh, when, they get, when they leave Federal State University. My favorite part is basically the, the smiles on people's faces, knowing that they can come in, see the best of our team of their hometown, actually coming in, interacting with them, feeding them, laughing with them, talking to them. It's like, even though they're going through a, a rough patch in life, they know that it's a group of young people that support them. Uh, my favorite part has been really not practicing. It's like a, coach, a joke for coach. Just doing it out to love your heart because, you know, a lot of people don't got what we have or didn't have this opportunity, but to be able to give back is bigger than basketball. Well, you know what, just being here, I think being able to see the look on, on some of these folks' faces as, as they see our team, see our players here, and they're just sitting down and our guys are serving, serving them and because they don't get that. And, you know, they're out here on the streets. A lot of them on the streets, they're homeless, and they don't get that service. And to be able to see the look on their face and the enjoyment that they got from, from just being around these guys, they think that these guys are, or you know, like celebrities to them a little bit. So they've been asking to come to games, to come see us play, things of that nature and that's something that we'll try to make happen. On the head, you got to get your tail on. Okay? Come back again. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll be excited. We'll be exciting. We're going to try to get up and down the floor and score some easy baskets when we need to. And I think we got the type of athletes now um, on our team to where the fans are really going to enjoy coming and watching these guys play. We're going to be tough, hard nose on defense, getting after people defensively. And... Uh, and as a team, as a whole, you'll see guys that it, it may be a different guy every night that'll step up and, and, uh, and make things happen for us, which is, which is okay. We'll definitely be a, a team. Uh, we'll be together as one. Uh, I think about intensity. I think about love for the game. I think about brotherhood. I think about wanting to win. I think about changing the culture. I think about winning championship. There's a lot that comes to it, but the biggest thing is really winning the championship, changing, changing the social statistic that we can't win. Well, I, you know, I, I just think right now, um, in the process of, 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 of changing the culture and, 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 and the process of building a program again, you know, Phil said we, had, we haven't won a CIAA championship since 1973. And in order to build that culture, to build that championship culture, you, it's it starts with things like this, you know, the little things. The little things make a big difference. And, you know, I, I just really believe that we're going to turn this thing around. We have good, good kids in our program. They're good students. They're good basketball players. And I think when you build a program around that, then, then you're going to be, eventually you're going to be successful. For 150 years, Fayetteville State University has promoted educational excellence in North Carolina, the nation, and the world. Our legacy of excellence continues with our participation in the United Negro College Fund Career Pathways Initiative. Thanks to this project, faculty and staff are working together to implement 
integrated curricular and co-curricular experiences that will inspire and empower our students to define and control their futures. Bronco Career Launch, forging a path to 21st century careers. Fayetteville State University is proud to be one of the 30 colleges selected as a planning grant awardee for the United Negro College Fund's New Career Pathways Initiative. Career Services Everywhere serves as the overarching theme for the proposed campus culture change and will be the foundation of the program, creating more informed, career-minded students and expanding the institution's capacity to meet student needs. The Career Pathways Planning Grant engages the community and creates pathways to successful 21st century careers. Faculty connections will allow FSU to fully engage faculty in the alignment of academics with the needs of the workforce. It will also place faculty at the core of building greater connective tissue between what is learned in the classroom and what is needed in the workforce. To better prepare students to graduate career ready, learning in the real world builds on co-curricular experiences and strengthens FSU's development and implementation of the types of programs proven to cultivate desirable, employable skills in students. Employer Pipeline serves to establish stronger connections between our career services office and local and national employers. Acknowledging that it's critical to not only make connections with employers, employer pipelines will better ensure those relationships are cultivated and maintained so that there is a direct impact in increasing student career placement following graduation. Research will be conducted to expand information gathering from alumni and employers to better understand the outcomes our graduates experience and their preparation perceived by employers. I'm forging a path to 21st century careers. The Office of Alumni Affairs has identified more than 1,100 corporations via LinkedIn where FSU alumni are currently employed. We'll leverage this knowledge by using the identified corporations and our alumni to strengthen and increase our employer access and outreach efforts. To further capitalize on the number of Fayetteville State alumni networking on LinkedIn and to increase our online presence, FSU will establish a LinkedIn student group called Broncos Connect. This will enable students to connect directly with alumni. Once our students learn how to create LinkedIn profiles, this will maximize their networking opportunity with alumni and prospective employers. I'm forging the path to 21st century careers. I'm forging a 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 path to 21st century careers. The Career Pathways Planning Grant engages the community and creates pathways to successful 21st century careers. We invite all members of the university family to join us as we forge a path that fosters collaboration and provides greater access to resources that fully integrate career preparedness into the academic and co-curricular experience from freshman year to first destination job placement. FSU will submit the grant on October 21st, 2016. Stay tuned as we continue to forge a pathway for 21st century careers. It's time we talk. When you become a Bronco, you become part of a family. And in our family, we choose to take care of each other. It's on us as student athletes at Fayetteville State University. We pledge to be a part of the solution and to make a difference. Here at FSU, we pledge to recognize that non-consensual sex is sexual assault. We pledge to identify situations in which sexual assault may occur. We pledge to intervene in situations where consent has not and cannot be given. We pledge to create an environment in which sexual assault is unacceptable. And survivors are supported. As Broncos, it's up to us to create an environment where students are and feel safe. It is on us to speak up. It is on us to stand up. It's on us to take action. 
against sexual assault and domestic violence. You are not alone. Lead by example. Take the pledge. What happens here affects us all. Commit to ending sexual violence on your college campus by signing the pledge. Take the pledge at itsonus.org. I know my parents love me, stand behind me, come what may. I know now that I'm ready, because I finally heard them say, it's a different world from where you come from. Rebounding advantage for Fayetteville State, 21 rebounds to 20. And Pembroke get things started with the first basket of the third quarter. Jonisa Monley scores first. Tyja Clark inbounds the ball, stolen away by Jasmine Huntley. Huntley pushing the ball up floor, decides to dribble it out. Stolen away by Kyla Pfeiffer, and Pfeiffer can't keep control of it. Gets back into the hands of UNC Pembroke. Ball's out by the perimeter. They're going to let Jasmine Huntley control things for the Lady Braves. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Let's see if they're paying attention. Down to five, four, three. Two, one, Stephanie Johnson gets it up and off the glass just as the buzzer goes off. Point will count. We're all tied up at 30 apiece here in the third quarter. 8.53 on the game clock. Out on the floor for Fayetteville State is Smith, Clark, Jones, Pfeiffer, and Clifton. Pembroke starting to pick up the tempo here in the third quarter. Ball game's tied up. Jasmine Huntley decides to, decides to take the three-point attempt. No good. Defensive rebound by Kayla Pfeiffer. She swings it out to Emerald Smith. And Emerald Smith will get the basket to go. And she's going to go to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. 
Checking back into the lineup for Fayetteville State will be number 14, Chantel Bennett. She's going to relieve Brianna Jones. Emerald Smith at the line to shoot the bonus. If she can connect and make this. And it's off the mark. Fayetteville State now tied up thanks to Monley. Janisa Monley has been instrumental here for Pembroke. I think she's got seven points, four here in the third quarter, three in all of the first half. Tied up at 32 apiece, 7.55 on the clock. Number 14, Chantel Bennett at the line, shooting two free throws for Fayetteville State. First one, it's good. Bennett with one more shot attempt to go. Recaptures the lead for Fayetteville State. They lead 33-32. Second free throw attempt is up, and it's good. Count it. Lady Broncos up by a possession, 34-32. Out. Huntley has it at the top of the key for Pembroke. They get it inside to number 25, Pritchard. And Pritchard with the up and under off the glass, ties it back up, 34 apiece. Approaching the seven minute mark here in the third, third quarter, excuse me, Tasha Clark gets it into the corner for Kyla Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer can't con keep control of the ball. And here comes Williams pushing the ball up the floor for UNC Pembroke. Clark ties her up. Going to be a jump ball. Possession will remain. No, possession will go to Fayetteville State. Good defensive play by Kyla Pfeiffer. Oh, excuse me, that was Tyson Clark. Chantel Bennett crosses midcourt for the Lady Broncos, and she's dribbling around. Passes it to Clark. Clark drives inside. Ball is not loose by Avery Locklear. I believe they're going to call Locklear with the foul. And I am correct. I love it when I'm correct. Foul is going to be called on Avery Locklear, her second, team fourth. And number two, Taja Clark, the freshman out of Clayton, North Carolina, to the line shooting two. Well, now she's only got to shoot one more because the first one is good. Gives Fayetteville State a 35-34 lead. Let's see if she can put the Lady Broncos up by two. Second shot attempt. It falls. Broncos up by two again. And it's been a back and forth so far here. The first three minutes and some change of the third quarter. Missed shot attempt by Jasmine Huntley, Chantel Bennett, showing some ball handling ability, takes the ball behind her back, gets some of the attention here in Capel Arena. And Yakima Clifton inside on the low block. Ball's now back out by the perimeter, just inside the three-point line is Tyja Clark taking the jumper, no good. Rebound by Magna Weibaum. Ball's in the hands of Chantel Bennett. Bennett dribbling out by the perimeter. Yakima Clifton shows no fear, drives inside, and draws the contact. Foul is going to be called on the post player for Pembroke, number 32, Stephanie Johnson. She has been the inside presence for the Braves. 
Clifton. Gets her first free throw attempt to fall. Extends the lead to 37-34 with 6.04 on the clock. Lawson, number 34, comes back into the game for UNCP. Second free throw attempt. It also falls, and now it's a 38-34 advantage for FSU. Just under six minutes remaining here in the third quarter. They kick it inside to Lawson. Lawson swings it back out to Ibram. Ibram swings it over to Pritchard. Pritchard takes the jumper, no good. Clifton out all alone. And shot no good off the fingertips of LaShonda Pritchard. Ball will remain with Fayetteville State. Kyla Pfeiffer inbounding the ball for FSU. Almost a straight line opportunity for Yakima Clifton. She stepped on the line out of bounds. Ball goes to the Braves. Here comes number 13, Jasmine Huntley, bringing the ball up feverishly for UNC Pembroke. They go inside immediately to Lawson. Lawson, no good. Rebound by Clifton. And here come the Lady Broncos pushing the ball on the other end. And there was some contact drawn. Pfeiffer penetrated inside the paint immediately. Draws contact. Foul's going to be called. Let's see if we can get some clarity. Not sure. Foul's called on number 13, Jasmine Huntley. That's her third. And the team is in the bonus here in the third quarter. Pfeiffer's first free throw attempt, no good. Second one off the mark as well. Fayetteville State still up 38-34. And we're approaching the five minute mark here in the third quarter. Floater taken by number one, Ebony Stevens. And that ball goes out of bounds, possession to the Lady Broncos. And we're gonna take a media timeout. 4.58 remaining here in the third quarter. Fayetteville State leads 38-34. And the next contest for the Lady Broncos will be this Saturday, 2 p.m. They travel to Salisbury, North Carolina to play to Catawba College. So if you're in the area or if you got some time this weekend and you want to travel up to Salisbury to support your Lady Broncos basketball team, they will be taking on Catawba College at 2 p.m. on the campus of Catawba in Salisbury, North Carolina. Hopefully it'll be the Lady Broncos trying to get their second win in a row, but right now they got to get the first one. And here at home, they lead 38-34 over UNC Pembroke out on center court. Cheer Fox Smooth joining them, the Bucking Broncos, and they are swagging and surfing. 